Have you ever been in a dark season and you don't know how to get out? In this video, I wanna show you guys my one simple tip, trick, life hack, whatever you wanna call it, to break free of those hard situations. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeff. I make videos just like this nearly every week to make faithful followers of Jesus and equip them to change the world. If that sounds like what you're looking for, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell so you never miss a video. Hey, I also stream over on Twitch pretty late at night every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If you have questions about this video or my beliefs or anything like that, or you just want to hang out, chat, play some games, uh, welcome you come over and hang out with me sometime. With that said, let's get into the video. So you're in a dark season. You're, you're in a dark time, you're, you're, you're facing um, trouble or you're facing temptation or pain or loss. I know how those times are. I know how hard it is to get out and to see the light in the midst of those. Um, I, I know what it feels like to be stuck in, in a season of anxiety or depression. Um, and, and I know how overwhelming and how unbearable it can feel. And I can't say that this trick or tip is gonna work for everyone. But I do know that whenever I'm feeling, you know, emotionally or spiritually down, this helps me. And it's simply this, to reflect. Now, before you click away, let me, let me go a little bit deeper. Whenever I was in school for IT, we had a phrase called GIGO. GIGO. Garbage in, garbage out. Typically, we talked about it in programming. If you wrote garbage code, you got garbage results. So we would say GIGO. Now, what I found to be true in my own life is this is exactly true for me as a person. If I continuously take in garbage, I will then put out garbage. And so if I continuously take in things that make me feel worse, or if I continuously interact with people who, who degrade me or, or make me feel less valuable than I am, or if I continue to put things into my body that, that make me feel worse or they belittle me or they make me feel addicted or they make me feel stressed or strung out. And if, we, if I keep allowing this garbage into my life, I will in turn put out garbage and in turn I will feel like garbage. And so often when I when I hit a season uh, of depression or whenever I hit a season of hurt or, or anger for that matter, uh, I start to reflect and look at what I'm putting into myself. What am I putting into my life? What music am I listening to? What videos am I watching on YouTube? What movies or TV shows am I constantly taking in? Are they, are they building me up? Are they lifting God up? Or are they actually making me feel worse? Or are they putting me in a mindset that will drive me towards sin and temptation? Guy go, am I taking in garbage? If so, I'm gonna to start to feel like garbage. Now I have my own, it's a little, it's a little corny, but I call it hi-ho. And it means holiness in, holiness out. And so whenever I start feeling like garbage, I reflect on my life and see what has changed. What am I taking in that I don't need to take in? What am I focusing on that I don't need to focus on? What am I allowing to control me and influence my life that I don't need to allow to control me nor influence my life? And I start to rid myself of that thing and I start to focus on holiness. I focus on God. I, I, I change my focus from, you know, these videos on YouTube to, you know, more Christian or, or worship videos on YouTube. If I'm listening to a certain type of music and it's not doing anything good for my soul, I will turn around and listen to worship. And this is one of my number one recommendations for you guys. If you are in a, a painful season, if you're in a low spot, is to listen and praise God. In Psalm 42, 11, it says, Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Does that sound familiar? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Why are you so downcast? Why are you so disturbed? Why are you so depressed? Why are you so anxious, stressed out, and angry? Put your hope in God and praise Him. That's what the psalmist is saying here, that in the midst of darkness, in the midst of a hard time, in the midst of the valley, in the midst of anger and frustration, depression and anxiety, in the midst of those things, put your hope in God and trust Him and yes, praise His name. Praise God when you don't feel like praising God. Put Him first when you don't feel like thinking about Him at all and watch what it will do in your life. See, I feel like in these seasons of darkness, in these seasons that we feel like we're in the 
midst of the storm, when we, these seasons when we're hurting and, and, and we're depressed and we're anxious in those seasons, so often we take our eyes off of God and we focus on whatever the problem is. And this is a huge mistake because when we take our eyes off God, we take our eyes off the answer. Think about Peter when he's out there walking on the water. He's looking and he's looking directly to the face of Jesus and he's walking and he's walking and lightning flashes. And in the midst of the storm, he takes his eyes off Jesus to look at the storm, to look at the problem. What's he doing? He immediately sinks. The same thing happens to us. When we are living life in pursuit of Jesus, we are on top of the water and things are going well. But when we take our eyes off Jesus to look at the problem, we begin to sink. You see in, in Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So seek first the kingdom of God. Seek Jesus above all things. Don't look at the storm. Don't look at the problem. Don't look at the riches. Don't look at the self-fulfillment. Don't look at the things of this world, but look to Jesus. Get rid of the garbage in your life and focus on the holiness that is in God. The next thing I do in a season like this is I'm constantly allowing worship to fill me. I'm praising God with my words and with my heart and with my actions. And I'm also in the word of God. When I'm constantly feeling away from God, I can tell that it's because I'm not in the word of God. You see in Psalm 119, 105, it says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. And so we've got to get back into the word because in Luke 11, 28, it says, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. In these dark seasons, we've got to be in praise and worship of God, and we've got to be in the Word of God, seeking Him. And yes, in these seasons, you will not feel like praising. In these seasons, you won't feel like being in Scripture. In these seasons, you won't feel like praying. In these seasons, you won't feel like talking to another brother or sister in Christ. You won't feel like it because Satan likes to have you in his hand and he wants to distance you from everything that is God. But we've got to run in absolute terror away from that darkness. We've got to sprint toward Jesus. We've got to lunge forward to Him. We've got to praise His name in the midst of darkness. We've got to seek His face when we don't feel like it. We've got to look for Him when we don't see Him and when we don't feel Him. You see, it's in these seasons that we need God more than anything. And so if you're in that season at this moment, please let these words speak to you. Seek first His kingdom above all else. And when your soul is downcast, like the, like the psalmist says, when you are feeling depressed, when, when, when you're, you are disturbed, and when you're hurting, and when you're in pain, put your hope in God and seek Him first. Guys, I do hope that this video was helpful. Uh, again, if you ever want to talk with me, chat about anything going on in your life, or talk about the Bible, or just hang out and play some video games, I stream over on Twitch, 11 p.m. to about 2 a.m. Central Time. So for all my night owls out there, I stream Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'd love to see you guys over there. Uh, link will be down below. Also, if this video helped you, uh, do me a favor, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Guys, I appreciate you, and you know what to do. Keep living that bold life.